He went to chance an Articuno, and Articuno's already dodging out here. Articuno? Articuno lands the sheer cold first turn! Oh my goodness! My luck is back, ladies and gentlemen. My luck is back. Straight one shot of Fire Terra Moongus with Sheer Cold. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC Double Battles. And today, we've got a Snow Cloak Articuno team. Shout out to PSP for the suggestion. If you guys want me to showcase one of your favorite Pokemon, or just any Pokemon you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and let me know what Pokemon you'd like me to build the team around. Or if you guys have some cool teams that you've built yourself and want me to showcase them here, just drop the rental codes down below and let me know. So today, we've got one of the strongest weather duos out there right now. Snow Warning Ninetales and Snow Cloak Articuno. So Ninetales is pretty straightforward here. Get weather control with Snow Warning and set up Aurora Veils for outside for 8 turns due to the Light Clay to get that solid defensive boost. And it's got a spicy little Encore there just to troll the opposing side and Encore them onto non-damaging moves like Fake Out. Because this thing's speed is pretty good. Now, Articuno here with Snow Cloak and Bright Potter is looking to dodge everyone and everything. Snow Cloak gives a Pokemon a 20% evasion boost under the snow, plus the 10% from Bright Powder. Yeah, Articuno is going to have a 30% evasion boost under snow, making it impossible to hit. And trust me, I've been through it and it's hard to hit. But knowing my luck, maybe they hit me every time. It's running Blizzard, Freeze Dry, and the spiciest move of them all, Sheer Cold. We're looking to straight one shot some Pokemon with Sheer Cold here. But knowing my luck as of lately, we're definitely going to miss every single one we go for. So if I can, I'm going to go for the blizzards and the freeze dry. But we're going to try our sheer colds out there. And then you've got Pokemon that help cover this duel's weaknesses. Got your standard Heat Ran here with Flash Fire and the Grass Terra. And Grass Terra is literally just the best Terra there is on Heat Ran, especially against those Urshifus with Terra Blast. You've got Iron Hands with its perfect moveset and the Assault Vest. And then you got Araquanade, who actually works really well with this team, especially with Articuno, as it helps cover its fire type weaknesses and takes even reduced damage from these fire type moves thanks to Water Bubble. And finally, we've got a Trick Room option here with Furgraph, and not even a fully defensive Furgraph, I think, because it's running Hyper Voice, Psychic, and Uproar. So it's got the Throat Spreader boost up its special attack after one Hyper Voice, and then we can just get ripping with some Psychic and Uproar. Uproar is actually really interesting, and I've actually never thought about this. So what Uproar does is it prevents any Pokemon from falling asleep on the field for three turns and wakes up any Pokemon that's asleep. So yeah, if we see an Amoongus, we're definitely bringing Frigraph here. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and are enjoying the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Again, huge shout out to PSP or Stevie for the team. I really appreciate it and hey, I'm excited to play it. But now... Let's get rolling with this Articuno team and try to get some dubs. All right, we've got Emma here, and she's got a Trick Room team. Plus a Water Absorb Vaporeon. So, like we said, when we see a Moongus, we have to bring Frigraph, I think. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I, I think I just leave my Weather Duo here. They have no sense of weather control. And we pressure this team pretty hard with Articuno and Ninetales. Now, the only Pokemon that I see them... I see us having trouble with, with is the Incineroar, actually. But I'm not too worried about the Incineroar. I definitely bring a Rackwind here. And then, like I said, I think I have to bring Frigraph. Yeah, let's bring Frigraph. Listen, that Amoongus, I don't, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to be spored across my whole team. It's one of the most annoying things there is. Even though it is fun to use, but... It's just annoying to get spored just everywhere. All right, what you cooking, Emma? What you leading off with? Hatterene and Incineroar? Hatterene and Amoongus. I mean, you kind of screwed up. <laughs> I don't think you soaked this. Oh, and I love to see it. All shinies, I think. Articuno and Ninetales shiny. Araquanid is shiny. And for a grass shiny. Oh. Stevie. 
you've done it you've made me a perfect team here um i can double blizzard and i just might do that i can wait to set a roar veil next turn oh he's gonna terrasalize into water fire okay fair enough he had that in his back pocket maybe we can get a freeze though all right there's the rage powder all right first blizzard comes out here wow that did almost no damage second blizzard comes out here does a little bit more and hattery's gonna get trick him up all right fair enough fair enough They might just put... Who are they going to spore? Because they're definitely going to spore. I can tell you that much. Hmm. I think I just stay with Articuno. And I'm going to shoot a sheer code on the Amoongus. He's going to withdraw the Hatterene. Okay. You're either sporing my Ninetales. Or you're taking the chance on Articuno. He went the chance on Articuno. And Articuno's already dodging out here. Articuno. Articuno lands the sheer code first turn. Oh my goodness. My luck is back, ladies and gentlemen. My luck is back. Straight one shot of Fire Terra Moongus with Sheer Cold. Oh, you love to see it. After we dodge your Spore, too. And we get a Roar Veil up. Yeah, it's looking like a wrap. It's looking like a wrap. Trust in your Articuno and you shall win. Oh, that was huge. That's a huge dodge. Um... Personally, I think we just survive here. So I'm going to Moonblast the Incineroar and then Articuno. Should go for Blizzards. He could fake out or he could just Flare Blitz. I don't know which one he's going to go for. But I feel like I soak. He went for a fake out. Okay. And Blood was gonna come out onto Ninetales. We soak. Damn, we soak. Articuno's gonna flinch, and then Moonblast is gonna come onto the Incineroar. So they have Trick Room here, but we're thriving on the Trick Room. We're absolutely killing it here. I'm gonna. No, I can't encore this thing. I'm gonna just go Blizzard and. Just double blizzard, yeah. Double blizzard. Hyper Waste is gonna get rid of the Nine Tails, that's fine. Articuno should be able to soak a flare blitz here. Unless this thing is fully invested into attack, but I highly doubt it. But never mind. Spirit Tomb is just gonna dodge to the left, dodge to the right, and we ain't gonna get touched. Picks up the KO on Ursa Luna. And Articuno is just thriving out here. I told you guys, Articuno's just going to dodge left, dodge right, and not going to get touched. Holy. And now it's just a poor little Hatterene. Guess what? You gave me... You gave me Trick Room. You did it to yourself. Liquidation onto the Incineroar. Freeze right onto the Hatterene. And that should be GG's. First game. Articuno going crazy. Oh, that's they outspeed me. But we still soak. Liquidation comes out here. Adios Incineroar. And then freeze drive from Articuno. Picks up the KO. Come on. It's fitting. Articuno, it's fitting. Oh, damn. That is one tanky Hatterene. Uh, Liquidation and... 
Why not shoot a sheer cold? Why not? Oh, we miss. We missed the sheer cold, but hey, we hit the one that mattered. Liquidation comes out here. That should pick up the KO. Yep. Beautiful. GG's Articuno went nuts. And it's shiny. Oh, I'm loving this team. Let's go. Oh Lord. Not this team. Okay. Articuno, I need you. To, I need you. I need you here. They're gonna get their evasiveness. I need your evasion to pop off as well. I don't know what I want to do here. Okay, let's let's be smart. I think they just lead. They definitely just bring um a Lolan Muck smear gold as lead flamigo in the back and then probably just fluttermane for some damage articuno what can you do here sheer code does look nice but they're just trying to they're just trying to get their evasion up that's all they're really trying to do I'm going to lead these two. And then I'll come in with Nine Tails and Articuno in the back. Yeah. I think if we sweep up with Nine Tails and Articuno in the back, I think all we need to do is get rid of the muck. Get rid of the muck first turn. And we're chilling. Now, I don't know if this thing has Protect. Do they carry muck with Protect? What is it? Minimize. Actually, I don't know what the moves. I don't know what the moves it carries. All I know is minimize. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Maybe they don't even lead it. Maybe they don't even lead it. If I see the Flutter Fluttermane in the front, I'll be happy. Because Fluttermane does not want to be here right now. Oh, why is my game laggy? Oh Lord, the strat is just so whack. It's Making the whole game laggy. Yeah, this game is laggy. Alright, we're gonna go Earth Power onto you. And try to fake him out. I, I think Smeargle outspeeds me. Oh no, we outspeed the Smeargle. Okay. Unless they're not going for fake out. Oh, they go for Spore. Damn it, I should have brought Ferrograph. Ferrograph would have been huge here. I think I Grass Tower right here. Oh, of course you got the defensive boost. Minus attack. I have to Terrasize here. I Terrasilize and I go for a Drain Punch into the Muck. He's going to try to Spore me. That's all he's going to do. Spore and then he's going to want to get his Power of Alchemy, get Moody, and then start getting all these boosts. We ain't letting that happen. Uh-uh-uh. Not today. Not today. Yep. Good Spore, buddy. Good try. Heatran wakes up one turn. Let's go, Heatran. Earth Power comes onto the muck. Does a huge chunk. And we're doubling into him. Do we outspeed? Oh, we outspeed too. Bye bye, muck. Hey, that was a great strategy, buddy. You did fantastic. Everybody give this guy a round of applause. <laughs> Speed is going to raise. Huge Terra and a huge wake up from the Heat Rand. It's gonna be the Latias. Um. I think I just Heat Wave and. Just Heavy Slam? Yeah, I'm just gonna Heavy Slam the Latias. Start chipping it up. I'm gonna go for another Spore. I should have protected. 
Someone's a tad bit salty. I think it's gonna calm mind up. I hope you're aware that we have um ice types in the back. All right, we take our first turn of sleep. Heavy slime's gonna come out here. Two halves to the Latias. Yeah, that thing ain't doing anything. Moody's gonna come out here, gonna give it plus two special attack and minus attack. So this thing is minus three on attack, I think. I'm gonna just do the same thing. Heat wave and heavy slam. They don't pick up a KO here. Oh, follow me. Okay, interesting. Psych up. Okay. Heat ran with the first turn, a second turn wake up again. Yo, this heat ran is insane. <laughs> Guys, I think my luck is back. I found my luck again. And we get the burn. Oh my goodness. This is just a series of good fortune and smart plays. Smeargle goes down. The slot house is burned. It's almost dead. I think he should just quit now. Flamingo's going to copy all the boosts, but it's minus six on attack. I think that's the last thing you want on Flamingo. Yep, there it is. <laughs> no, not minus six on attack. Minus three. Yeah, this thing can't do anything. We're going to go for a heat wave. Going to go for a wild charge. Yeah, she hasn't terrestrialized yet. I'm just gonna go wild charge. He might even just cancel battle. Battle was canceled. GG's, let's go. We just outplayed him. No Articuno needed. All right, we've got a Reg Ice team. Hmm. Do I want to set them up some snow? Do I have protect on this guy? No. It is fire terror though, so I might. Just lead it off. I like the heat right here. And I like the Araquanid. Does Araquanid have a... No, it doesn't. Okay. Ooh, but the throw... Um, the fur graph with... Armor Tail. You know what? I'm gonna go this. Bring fur graph in the back. And then I think bring in heat ran. Yeah. Now, Regice. Is Regice bulky physically or specially? I keep forgetting. I'm not sure, but we're going to lock in those four. Heat Ran looks really solid here, and I might just save Grass Tail for it. Against that Urshifu. I think that could be pretty solid. I don't really see myself needing Tarot for anyone else here. And if they lead Incineroar and... Hmm. Red Dice Urshifu. Okay. Now, we could bank on our... Invasion this year. But I don't know if that's what I want to do. Yeah, I think I should go Aurora Veil, and I could Terrastalize Articuno, but I don't think I have to. I could just shoot a Sheer Cold into that Reg Ice. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Because I don't see Urshifu just sitting here. And they're going to Terrastalize first turn. Okay. Who are you Terrastalizing? Urshifu. So I guess you're not water? Yeah, you're steel. Okay, good. So actually not bad that we went after the Red Ice. Hopefully we land. Surgeon Strikes is going to come out to Nine Tails. We soaked that easily. Beautiful. And this thing is Choice Scarf then because it's outspeeding my Nine Tails. 
So it doesn't have any protect. Aurora's gonna get set up here. Gonna make us a little more defensive. And Sheer Cold? Come on. Come on, Articuno. Ooh, we missed the Sheer Cold. Oh, it doesn't affect. I'm so smart sometimes. Charging comes out onto Articuno. It's not gonna do anything, but it's gonna give it a plus one in special attack. Okay. I'm just gonna encore onto that. You have fun with that. I kind of want to swap now. I'm really not doing damage here. I'm gonna try to land the sheer cold on the Urshfu. There's a surgeon strikes. We're gonna soak that with ease. This is one bulky Articuno. Holy. Encore is going to come out onto the, onto the Reg Ice. Keep going for your Charge Beams. This thing's going to be plus three. Or well, going to be plus two now. We land another Sheer Cold onto the Urshifu. Guys, my luck is back. <laughs> my luck is back. Oh my goodness, Articuno. What did you feed this Articuno, Stevie? And here comes another Charge Beam. That's going to do no damage. Oh, I didn't get a plus one in special attack. Why is that? Is it only once? I guess it might be only a one-time thing. I'm going to roost. Get some HP back. Mystical fire, but guess what? Articuno's dodging. Articuno said, no, no, no. You ain't touching me today. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> Roost comes out here. Gonna get us back to almost full HP. Oh, beautiful. And Charge Beam is gonna miss as well. Oh my goodness, Articuno. Oh, and now I want to try so many more Snow Cloak Bright Powder shenanigans. Oh, I'm loving this. This thing went for Mystical Fire. I, I, I just really don't care. I'm going to go for a blizzard. And... Double blizzard. Let's go double blizzard. Alright, Mystical Fire connects, but we survive. Yeah, we soak that easily. We do get a minus one in special attack. So I think now we swap out... Articuno. Oh my goodness, we get the freeze on Fluttermane. What is this Articuno eating? Oh my goodness. A freeze, a dodge, a sheer cold landed. Oh my goodness. This thing ends its encore. Guess what? You're going to encore onto that thing again. And I sh I'm just going to stay here. There's absolutely no reason to swap out. We're just going to pick up this KO on the Fluttermane. The following turn, not this turn, the following turn. And you keep doing your charge beams. You're doing great with charge beam. <laughs> You're doing no damage whatsoever. Freeze Dry comes out here. We chunk up, we chunk up a little bit more damage. And then charge beam is going to miss on the Articuno again. <laughs> this thing has not attacked once. Getting rid of this Reg Ice is going to be kind of annoying. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm here for it. We're just going to look to get rid of this Fluttermane. It's frozen solid. Moonblast comes out here. Does it pick up the KO? It picks up the KO. Bye-bye, Fluttermane. <laughs> frozen Fluttermane for sale here. And Freeze is going to chip up very little damage here. Yeah, very little damage. Charge is going to miss again. I don't even have snow. <laughs> this is dumb. This combo is just superior to all other weather combos. Oh, Rillaboom? I feel bad for you. Grassy Search is going to come out here. I know 
Regis has Regis has probably water terra terra blast. So I'm just gonna come in with Hiran. And I'm gonna shoot a sheer cold into the Rillaboom. We're just trolling at this point. We're minus one in special attack, so we're not gonna do that much damage. Heat Rank comes out here. Sting's going for a fake out. Lance a fake out on the Articuno. That's fine. And Red Ice is going for another charge beam. And it connects onto Heat Rank. Gets another special attack boost. Oh, it's a chance thing. It's a percent thing, I guess. And this Regice is back to full HP. And it ended its Encore. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to protect my Heat Ran here. I want to see... I'm pretty sure they commit Sarah this turn. And... Going to go for a sheer cold onto the Rillaboom. No Terra yet. Okay. I'm really waiting for that Terra. Sheer cold is going to miss. It's okay. Articuno, you've done enough. High horsepower onto... Heat ran and then Thunderbolt onto this guy. T wave. T wave? Don't you want to just damage me? Royal Bell's up. Hmm. I terrestrialize Heat wave. I'm gonna try to roost. Why not? And oh wait, they, they go last, so they might terrestrialize here actually. But regardless, we're going for a grass terror here now, just to avoid the ground type move and a potential water terror terror blast from them. Because most regis run that. Yeah, no, no terror. He ran's gonna come out here with the heat wave, do a whole chunk of damage. High horsepower is going to come out here, do absolutely nothing. And charge him onto Articuno. But guess what? We soak. Oh, plus three now. That's kind of scary. But we're going to roost. Nice and healthy. As if nothing happened. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Red Ice, I'm not even worried about. One more Heat Wave takes care of that guy. I'm going to protect Heat Ran. And I'm going to Freeze Dry into Rillaboom. This thing, might, this thing might be going for a U-turn here anyways. Grassy Glide. Onto who? Oh, okay. Oh, doubling him, I guess. Yeah, he doubled. Huge protect there. Huge protect. Yeah, we're just out playing with this team. This team is too good. Freeze Rack comes out here. Picks up the KO on Rillaboom. And guys, that's just GG's. Did he Terrasalize? Oh, he did Terrasalize already. That's right. He Terrasalized the Urshifu into Steel turn one. Oops. <laughs> I'm over here waiting for the... I'm over here waiting for the Terra Water on the Reg Ice and it never happens. Heat Wave comes out here, leaves this thing on one. Heat Ran's gonna go down here to the Ice Beam. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna get a Roost off and guess what? My Articuno is nice and healthy. Back to full HP. Untouchable. I still have three Pokemon. <laughs> this is... This is complete domination here. Grass disappears from the battle. I'm going to come in with Ninetales. Set up our snow one more time. Just give ourselves a Roar Veil because why not? And go for blizzards. Even though it's going to do nothing, we're looking to pick up the KO with Articuno here. 
just to complete the Articuno saga here. Charge Beam is going to come out onto the Ninetales. Ninetales even soaks. Blizzard comes out here. Chipped up a little bit more. Nothing crazy. This thing's going to get some lefties. Uh, I don't know if we pick up the KO from lefties there. I think we're going to have to go one more turn, guys. Who am I kidding? Let's just get this done with. Let's go Moonblast. Let's go Blizzard. Articuno over... This thing had Protect this whole time. Charge Beam, Ice Beam, T-Wave, and Protect? That's weird. Oh, I'm going to Protect. I'm going to Alcor on to Protect. <laughs> Let's troll this guy for making us wait one more turn. <laughs> this is going to be the icing on the cake. Encore onto the Red Giants. Have fun with your Protect. And we're going to shoot up a Blizzard. <laughs> oh, this team is dumb. This team is too good. <laughs> Stuck on to Protect. Blizzard comes out here from the Articuno. Going to chip up a little bit more. And I think that... Okay, I'm going for Moonblast now. This, <laughs> this lefty is, is belonging in this match. We go Moonblast. We go Blizzard, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a GG's. Oh, he lands a Protect. Well, yeah, he lands a Protect. Of course he does. Oh, this guy's wasting my time. Damn, this Articuno team. This team was good. And you know what I love? It was all shinies. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but almost... Not almost. Every single one of my teams is all shinies every team that i build i make sure to shiny hunt every single pokemon that i can shiny hunt in order to showcase it obviously the ones that are shiny locked like enamorous and all that stuff obviously i can't get any shiny to those but every other legendary every other pokemon always shiny i just i used to be a shiny hunter oh articuno's paralyzed damn it i used to do shiny hunting a lot so i'm, I'm pretty obsessed with my shinies i'm obsessed with shinies and vgc pretty cool combination Oh, you ended your encore. I have another one. Okay, now let me let me not do it. Let, let, let's just let's just finish this game off. This is taking too long. I'm gonna go freeze dry and moonblast. Moonblast comes out here, and we finally pick up this KO on Reg Ice. And Articuno did not faint once in this video. G G's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Snow Cloak Articuno team is complete. And let me just say, 3 for 3. 3 for 3 and 3 dominating games. This team is insane, Stevie. A huge shout out to Stevie or PFP. I don't know. I, I'm assuming that's your name, Stevie. Or Steve. Huge shout out to you. I really appreciate the team and you building it and sharing the code with me. Listen, if you have any more teams, swing them my way because you know how to build a team. And guys... Please feel free to use his rental code as well. This team is insane, and I'm sure you guys will have a lot of fun because I sure did have a lot of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.